Hi everybody, I'm Amy from From the Cauldron and in today's episode of Dye Time I'm dyeing this fibre. It is White Jacob Top and I got this from World of Wool. I've got 100 grams here which I've divided into two lots of 50. Uh, now I'm going to dye half of this and leave the other half as, as it is and then I want to spin them together see what I can create with that. I'm just slowly submerging this into the water. I don't want to felt that felt it. I've spun this fiber before and it was a dream to spin. So I'm hoping it will take up the dye nicely and spin into something really pretty. Now because the temperatures in the UK are predicted to get up to about 40 degrees um, today, I'm going to be making the most of that temperature to do some solar dyeing. I've got my mask on, I've got some gloves on, and today I am going to be using yellow from BT Craft and Design, if you can see that, sour apple from Dharma, and Kelly Green from Dharma as well. Those are all acid dyes. I am going to start with, I think I'll start with the sour apple. Uh, I've got some dedicated dye spoons. All this equipment is dedicated for dyeing. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sour apple there. Tap that in. Try and get it uh, all dissolved. And you see here, this dye, the blue in it has dissolved nicely, but there's those big yellow chunks that are just clumped together. It will be interesting to see if this sour apple dye, the, well the yellow in the sour apple, if it reacts, it acts similar in a similar way to the lemon yellow fibre reactive dye. Now because it's an acid dye it's not the same but it'll just be interesting to see. Next I'm going to go with Kelly Green. I've got another spoon. I'm just going to put a little bit over here. I'm not sure how different these two colours are. I probably should have checked my uh, my yarn swatches before I did this, but I just grabbed some dyes and thought, oh, I'll just go for it. Oh yeah, this is slightly darker, this Kelly Green. You can see, see the differences there. Just again, tapping that through, just making sure everything is as dissolved as I can get it. And finally, I'm going to go for yellow from DT Craft and Design. I'm not measuring out how much dye I'm using. I'm probably using far too much because this is only 50 grams of fiber. But, well, it is what it is. I don't have many yellows actually. I think this yellow and the lem the uh, fluorescent yellow are the only um, acid yellows that I've got. Ooh, there we go. That's dissolved nicely. Let's add some vinegar because because this is a, a an animal fibre. You need vinegar, well, an acid, so either vinegar or citric acid acid, um, the dyes, and heat. Now this, I normally use a tablespoon measure, but I can't find it. This is a half teaspoon measure, so that's why it looks like I'm putting a lot in, but I'm not actually, because it's half teaspoon. And I haven't been counting how many I've put in either. Ugh. Go for broke and just squirt a load in. There we go. And because I'm solar dyeing, I'm using the sun as a heat source. So I'm just gonna stick that on there and leave it in the sun. Hopefully the temperatures will get hot enough to settle this dye. Now, the one reason I put it in my saucepan rather than a jar is just in case the sun doesn't settle this dye, I can just stick this on the stove quite easily without moving the fibre too much. Just before I go stick this outside, 
Um, I have been doing some other dyeing and I've got this little bit of uh, dark brown left over. This is dark brown from DT Craft and Design. So I don't want to waste anything so I'm just going to pour that there and hopefully this will all blend together nicely. You can see over here already the sour apple is sort of disappearing and the Kelly green is taking over here. Still got some more yellow there. I really want to go and add more dye but I won't. I'm going to just leave it. Let's have a look. Yeah, that Kelly Green is going, moving quite a lot. All right, don't touch it. Just leave it, let it do its thing. Okay, this has been sitting in the sun for about 24 hours now. You can see it's nice and steamy. Let's see if that dye has set to the arm. Okay, there's a lot of that Kelly Green. Most of that yellow's absorbed. It's that Kelly Green and possibly the sour apple that hasn't. Have a look underneath. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to move this over to the stove and gently let it heat set for probably about 20 minutes. Now this has been on a very gentle low heat for about 20 minutes. It's been steaming for about 20 minutes and yeah, there's still a lot of green there. I don't want this to start bubbling and there'll be a lot of movement in the water because that will felt the, the, uh, the fibre. That's a disappointment. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover this up, turn the heat off and just leave it to cool down. I will use the green that is still in there in another project. And hopefully, hopefully there won't be too much bleeding when it comes to washing this. Okay, this fibre has cooled down now. I have the dye water. This was what was left over. And I will be using it for another project, so don't worry. I haven't forgotten about it. Now I'm going to be carefully washing this. I'm just remo I've just removed the fibre because I don't want the, uh, the water to go straight onto the fibre. I just want to let it soak. I expect there will be a little bit of runoff because of all that, that colour that was left over. but I'm just going to be very, very gentle. I don't want to felt this. And this is looking all right at the moment. Let's add a little bit of washing up liquid. I'm just going to add that to the water, not to the actual fiber. And actually, this is not looking too bad. I'm just going to leave that to soak for a few minutes and then I'll be back. It doesn't look like there's really, well actually there's a tiny bit of runoff. But not too much actually, which is really, really good. I'm really happy. So I'm just going to rinse this through with just plain water now. And again, I'm just going to let this sit and soak in the water. I'm not going to play with it. I'm just going to let it just sit. I'll do this a few times and then I can let this dry and then we can spin it. And here is the finished fiber. Now that Kelly Green really did take over. Uh, there are some variations in this fiber. For example, here, there's a bit that's slightly more brown and this is slightly more yellow. Uh, that will be from the brown, yellow, and the sour apple that I used, but in general, it's, it's curly green here. And that's the fiber before and after. My biggest worry, again, was felting, and it's not felted. You can see it easily pulls apart. I could easily draft this and spin this, 
which is what I am going to go and do now. And here is all the fiber at the various stages of this dyeing experiment. Uh, this Jacob top was absolutely gorgeous to spin. Um, it's probably the easiest fiber I find I've found to spin. Um, I'm not very good at spinning at all, but if you have a look at this, you can see it's fairly even. I'm sure there are spinners out there saying, "What? why are you calling that even? That is just terrible. It's You can see how the thickness and some bits are really thick, some bits are really thin. Uh, but for me, this is pretty even. I mean, this is probably the most even I've ever managed to get. Um, and I've just, I've loved spinning it. And here is some where I've spun it together. I've plied it together, I mean. And I kind of want to dye this again. Um, maybe, I don't know what color. I don't know. What do you think? Should I try dyeing this because of the, I've got the white yarn there. Um, just to see how it would go. I mean, I've still got some unspun fiber here and some that I haven't plied together yet. So yeah, let me know down in the comments, should I dye <laughs> this this one or not? Um, I found, I actually found this uh, dyed fiber easier to spin than the undyed fiber. I'm not quite sure why. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do please click like and subscribe to my channel. And uh, leave a comment down below, let me know what you thought of this video. Should I dye this bobbin of yarn? Let me know down in the comments. And if I should, what colour should I dye, should I dye it? Um, I've got lots of other different fibres in stock that I want to experiment with. So uh, look out for more uh, fibre dyeing videos in the future. I publish a new video every Monday and it's usually published between about 6 and 8pm UK time. And I do like to experiment with different things so there should always be different and interesting videos to watch. Thank you so much for watching.